Howdy, I'm Karen with Karen Dawn Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to work Emily Auker's cast on, also known as the Magic Circle cast on. This cast on is really useful when you're knitting something in the round and starting from the center. So, for example, a circular shawl or a hat that starts from the top and works its way down. The reason for this is because it helps to close up that gap, that hole that would be in the center, so that way there will not be a hole. So what you need for this cast on is a crochet hook that is the same size as the knitting needles you're going to use for the rest of your project. So go ahead and grab your crochet hook and let's get started. To start the cast on, make sure that you have the tail facing toward the right. Then you're going to create a loop so that the part with the end is looped in the front. I usually take this loop and put it on my thumb and then tension the part of the yarn that's going toward the ball over your index finger and take the loop and hold it so it doesn't come undone. Then you grab your crochet hook and you insert your crochet hook through that loop and you grab the yarn pulling it through the loop. Then you're going to pick up the yarn again and pull it through that loop you had just put on your crochet hook. You have now cast on one stitch. So we're going to do that again. Going to make sure your end yarn, you're just kind of holding out of the way. So we're going to go through the loop. Keep that on your thumb there. Through the loop, grab the yarn, pull it through. Then you're just going to wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and pull that through that loop. And now you have two stitches cast on. So you're gonna continue working in that manner. Take your hook through the loop, grab the yarn, pull it through, wrap the yarn around the crochet hook, and then pull it through that loop. And now you have three stitches. Keep working until you have the number of stitches cast on as called for in your pattern. I finished casting on eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want to check to make sure that you did this right, you can take that loose end and just give it a little bit of a pull and you'll see that my loop is starting to close up. So that is what you want to see happen. The next thing we need to do is transfer these stitches over to our working knitting needles. So if you're using double pointed needles or magic loop or the two circular method, go ahead and grab your knitting needles. Now you can transfer the stitches you've cast on to your knitting needles. So go ahead and just make sure that you are not twisting the stitches. So just move the stitches over to your knitting needles. So now I've knit a few rounds and it looks like there is a hole in the center of my knitting, but really this is where the magic happens. You take the loose end and you give it a tug, pull it in to draw in those stitches. And once you weave in that end, it will hold it nice and tight and you no longer have a hole in the middle of your circular knitting. I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I am Karen Dawn on Ravelry and Karen Dawn Knits on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks and happy knitting!